Genesis nineteen twelve through 29 And the man said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides? Son-in-law, and thy sons, and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place, for we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxen great before the face of the Lord, and the Lord hath sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out, and spake unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him. And they brought him forth, and set him without the city. And it came to pass that when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for thy life, look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plains, escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, O oh, not so, my lord. Behold now, thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy which thou hast showed unto me in saving my life. And I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me, and I die. Behold now, this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. O oh, let me escape thither. Is it not a little one? and my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow this city, for the which thou hast spoken. Haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou become thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zoar. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar, and the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities, and all the plain, and all the inhabitants of the cities, and that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. And he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah, and toward all the land of the plain. And beheld, and lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. And it came to pass, when God destroyed the cities of the plain, that God remembered Abraham, and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow, when he overthrew the cities in the which Lot dwelt. Back in part 13, Abraham interceded for the righteous people in the city. The angels didn't find even ten righteous people in the city. Only Lot was righteous enough to show hospitality and offer protection to the strangers who just happened to be angels. God knew that Lot was Abraham's nephew and that Abraham's primary concern was for him. So God saved Lot and his family just as much for Abraham's sake as for the kindness that Lot himself had shown to the angels. It's not clear why Lot's wife looked back, but she disobeyed the command of the angel and suffered the consequences of her actions. You probably won't be turned into a pillar of salt or have fire rain down on you for your sin, but sooner or later sin leads to death. Jesus is the only one who can save you from that fate. If you are ready to turn to him, you can with this simple little prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, and that you rose again the third day. Please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart, and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you, so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of His will, so you can live out His holiness in your life. If you are interested in understanding the story of Jesus' life better, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites, also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May you be saved.